think Bay Hill or Players I first put in the bag, but I had a different shaft in it. And then I put the Diamana shaft in it around Augusta, the week before Augusta. Okay. And I felt like, do you know what, I felt like I, it's funny, I missed a cut of Augusta at a really bad first round and I drove it quite poorly, but I just didn't quite have the the competitiveness in the driver and I, it takes me a while to kind of, you know, I need to love something before I trust it. Um, but the back nine on the second round of Augusta, I feel like that's where my season like obviously I'd won at the start of the year, but that's where the, my season kind of turned around after that. I felt like I played the back nine really well and I drove the ball quite well. And I was, it's funny, I was very happy heading to Hilton Head the following week and then I drove the ball great there on one of the tightest golf courses of the year. And uh, yeah, from then on, it's just, it's, it's treated me very well ever since. What, what do you like about it? What's been, what, just what the, the, the playability on it is just um, incredible. The forgiveness on it, uh, I feel like I can, hit every type of shot with it, do you know what I mean? I feel like I can find a fairway with it, but when I need to hit it, a long one, I tee it up and I can let it go and, you know, hit it a good distance because it's quite a quick driver as well. And, you know, I just I just think it's a good looking club as well. And I'm all about that. When I put a club down and I like the look of it, it's it's half the battle for me. They've given me a limited edition, yeah, it's pretty cool, yeah. Are you gonna put it in? Uh, I'm gonna get a backup made, but I'm not gonna put it in. Um, I still think, not that it is any different, but I just still think it'll be, uh, but it is very cool. I think at some stage it will come out. Uh, no, I, I think there's about 14 degrees on that. Um, I carry it about two, almost 270, 265-ish to 270, um, depending on obviously conditions or off a tee, I definitely carry a 270. Um, and yeah, I just find like I've had that club quite a while and you know, I think sometimes a trio will can be a very difficult club to get one that you like and because ultimately unless you're going for a green, you always have like smaller targets when you're hitting the three wood because you're trying to find a fair where you're trying to hit a green and uh, I just, it's a club you really need to trust and I, I trust that one. I've hit some good shots with under pressure so. The, in all the time I, I toyed around with hybrids and, and five woods uh, over the years and I just don't like looking at anything with loft on it. Uh, with a wood, um, I feel like it's going to go left. So uh, I actually put that two iron in at the match play this year. Um, the lads made it for me with a, it's got a graphite shaft and, and I can hit it in the air, but I can hit it quite low as well. Um, I just want something I can hit, like, you know, I can carry it about 245 and I can hit it in the air as well, but I can also hit it low off the tee. Um, so it's kind of the playability and them. Um, Look, them long irons are just incredible and the three iron is you know I've got a different shaft than that I've got a steel shaft than that but I you know just the playability on those clubs is just so good like I can hit like a bullet three iron I can hit one into the clouds if I want if the greens are firm so and um, they're just great clubs I hit a lot of well like the first hole especially was probably the most difficult tee shot on the course out of bounds both sides and I hit three iron off the tee and funny on on Sunday, I didn't want to hit two iron, but we got there and I was like, the wind was in, and I was like, I have to hit two iron, I have no choice, but um, I hit a poor enough tee shot. But uh, yeah, I hit some, you know, I hit it, I hit the two iron up um, 15 on Sunday, uh, like I was five ahead with um, four to play, and I hit, it was probably one of the one of the best shots I've hit all year because I just straight out of the middle. I'd say I went about 320 yards up there. It was just, it was something with the very minute I hit, I was like, wow, jeez. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that, but yeah, it was, um, yeah, they played a big part. You know, the 18 tee shot every day was a two iron. Um, so yeah, it was, they just played a, bit, played a big part in the whole thing. Uh, I'm mixing, so I'm, uh, my four iron and five iron is the bigger headed, what, 585s is it? 585s. Um, and then my six iron to nine, or six iron to wedge is the seven eighty fives. So like I've got you know from my wedge, then to my six iron is kind of like a smaller headed, you know, and then the bigger headed and the long irons. I just feel like it's just easier. If uh, if I had a set of blades in there, I'm sure I'd be able to use them. But if I'm under pressure, if I'm standing the eighteen fairway and Wentworth on Sunday and I've got 220 to the front, give me that bigger head of three iron. You know, if I'm leading the tournament, I, I just feel like it's just more forgiving. I just feel like golf's easier with those clubs. Yeah. Oh, just, I, honestly, you're right, and I'm not just saying this, but I put these irons in 
three years ago, and the friend, like I, I was never like a good long arm player, whereas I think I might be high up there on the PGA Tour now from outside 200 yards. I'm, I'm pretty good. Um, so like, you know, these irons have definitely transformed my game. Like, you know, I can, I can hit whatever type of shots I want with them, and um, they're just, you know, it. Everybody says it. anybody that uses them just say how good they are. They're just they're great. The wedges I carry a 52 and a 58. Uh, my 50 it's a 50 degree, but it's bent to 50. Maybe it's 51. I think it's 51 degrees actually. Um, and I hit I hit that like 122 to 125 to you know depending on the week and um, and then I have a 58 that I hit 100 yards. So there's a big gap there, but I practice kind of. I practice 100 to 120 a lot with the 52, you know, soft shots and stuff. So. And this is big strength in your game, I guess. Yeah, it is. I, I, you know, I toyed. I used the 56 for a while before, um, but I just felt like I was giving up the, you know, a 56 with no two iron, and I just felt it was a too big a gap with my three iron and three wood. So, um, I needed something to give. So, I just practice more from 110 yards and so. I've always been like a two ball guy. I've, I've used different putters over the years and I chop and change a little bit but more often than not I uh, I go back to the two ball um, is what I've done it's funny after Augusta this year I felt like I put it poorly I went to Hilton Head on the Monday and I think I picked up eight putters like I actually got eight putters on the Monday and it, I got this one it looked really it's actually a really cool looking putter and they all, <laughs> they're not they're all different every different make like you know whatever like all different makes and uh, I've, this was the one I liked and it's been it's worked well for me all year yeah so I use the new uh, Z Star XV um, I put that in play I suppose the middle of last year yeah around the middle to the end of last year I think um, but yeah it's look I've always been I've been tricks on for 10 years now I've always been a big fan of the ball and I think this new one um, straight away I got like a couple of mile, mile an hour quicker off my driver um, and I just feel like when you're playing the wind it's just incredible it holds its line and, and it spins it spins a sufficient amount as well so it's um, yeah it's you know I can't say enough about it to be honest it's just um, yeah it's it's great that's all I can say <laughs> don't know what else to say about it yeah